Guruji, uh, thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, you must be a relieved man, uh, as are so many people, that Anna Hazare has finally called off his hunger strike. Yes, yes, I am I'm totally relieved and I know it, it will happen that way. Yes. And uh, it's Guruji, a, it's uh, a happy ending. A lot of yes. people would uh, yes. A lot of people would say that this is just the first step uh, in the fight against corruption, a successful end to the first step, but that the road ahead is still very complicated. It's not going to be easy at all. Would you agree? I hope it's not complicated now that uh, uh, everyone realized the power of people and the power of truth. I hope people improve their communications and get things done faster. Of course, Guruji, uh, uh, it, you know, it has to undergo yes, all the parliamentary ahead. processes. It has to undergo all the parliamentary processes. You can't uh, force anybody to do anything immediately. It has to take its time, but not too long time as the country has been facing in the last uh, several decades. Guruji, in the past, um, it was Parliament and our parliamentarians who really drove the agenda for change in the country. But do you feel that this is the start of a process where social activists might actually have an, a greater role to play in formulating policy? Uh, or do you think that a potential clash between Parliament and social activists need to be avoided. You know, social social activi activists have woken up the parliamentarians. I wish in our parliament they do uh, short speeches and keep it to the point, not give lengthy speeches and waste so much of time, so that you know in one session they could pass number of bills and properly study them, have expert opinions on them. You know. Uh, Mr. T. N. Sheshan has uh, worked out when this whole agitation had started. Uh, you know, our great minds like T. N. Sheshan in our country and Justice Venkatachalaya, they all can, you know, contribute so much. Now they are not in any position or uh, any office. And their time could be best utilized to formulate uh, uh, rules and laws which would benefit the entire society. Not just a political angle, but there is a civil society angle as well to that. You know, in a short period of time, Mr. Uh, Mr. Sheshan made this great document. Uh, if all the parties study through that, you know, it, then this yes. whole thing about Lokpal can become another independent body like Election Commissioner of India. Now, Guruji, we, over the last uh, 24 hours, certainly, we've seen Team Anna forcing through Parliament a resolution uh, in which the three uh, issues which were of concern to them actually went through in that resolution. There was an all-party consensus on that. Uh, do you believe, though, that uh, there are other versions, there are other uh, people who work very hard on a Lokpal bill, uh, other civil society bodies, and that their views need also to be incorporated? It shouldn't be just about the Lok Janpal way, uh, bill, uh, my way or the highway, because that a lot of people are saying no, has been the attitude of no, some of these activists. No, that's, co no, that's correct. It's not Jan Lok Janpal, the Jan Lokpal bill. It's the substance, what is in it is important. I am not aware of other uh, individuals who are working very hard on that subject, nor have I seen them, nor have been in touch with them. So all I could say is Jan Lokpal bill, uh, which I have been in touch with this, uh, these experts in this group. So if there are other brilliant ideas that could be incorporated in it, it should be welcome, definitely. Definitely. But not diluting you, you these, this? Yes. Uh, these main ideas for which uh, Anna Hazare and all of us have, uh, um, you know, agreed upon. Would you say, uh, Guruji, that, um, that the politics of, of, of India I mean, is, is being redefined potentially as a result of this? It's been several decades since we've seen an agitation like this. And a lot of people we were talking to have said that they've never seen a, a civil society agitation of this sort in the country in a long time. It's always been political rallies in the sort. So do we, are, we, are we in the process of seeing a new, more assertive India, in a sense? 
Yeah, it's a, it's a new resurgent India now. Correct. But I, I, I wish and I hope yes. that the parliamentary system and parliamentary institutions are respected and, uh, and the parliamentarians keep their communication open with the civil society. Well, this had to happen because the parliamentarians, they close their door to the society that they represent. They were not in communication, they were in a different world or a category by themselves completely losing touch with the ground reality. That's where the civil society had to step in. Instead of saying, I will do what my high command said, the parliamentarian should uh, listen to the voice of people and revert back to them. When Jan Lokpal bill was circulated among all the chief ministers of this country, the reply that came from them was shocking. They should have said, yes, I will take consent of my people. This is these, these, these are my ideas, or these are the wishes of the people. They should have conveyed that rather than saying, I will, we will just follow what the high command says. You know, you leave it to one person to uh, dictate terms for everybody. It's not a healthy democracy. So, democracy means listening to the opinions of people. And this is how it is done throughout the world. Every county, every province in Europe and many countries in South America, North America, they all work like that. Sure. Guruji, I also wanted to ask okay. you about what we've seen at the Ramlila grounds. You're talking about uh, the rest of the world where we see a lot of violent protests. Uh, we've seen so many violent protests, for example, uh, in, in Syria where hundreds of people have died in recent times. You've seen all of these violent, correct, correct, violent correct. uprisings uh, in other parts of the country. But there is so much uh, pride which a lot of people can attach to the fact that by and large the thousands of people who gathered over here, ultimately lakhs came over here, uh, it all went off relatively peacefully. This is because India is spiritual in, uh, basically spiritual in nature. You know, it's the spirituality that has kept the principle of non-violence on top. And so, uh, we had this, this historic... Uh, uh, you know, um, Sangarsh movement, which was completely uh, on the principles of Ahimsa, and you know, I'm so happy that it all went on very peacefully, and this shows that we are still a spiritual community in this country. It's a spiritual country, so we we do believe in emphasizing our point of view but peaceful manner. Guruji, you must uh, feel uh, incredibly proud to be an, uh, an Indian today because today I don't think this is any more about Anna, it's about, uh, about a victory for India on an issue which, which makes a difference to all of our lives. Yeah, and, and you see the sense prevailed in every section of society. The police behaved so well um, and then the parliamentarians behaved so well and they all uh, came out in support of this. So it's really, uh, we, we need to be great, proud of our country and its system now. And people of every uh, religion, category, caste, creed, they were all part of this whole movement. And that's really, uh, and an young and old, children to the... To 90 year old man was there, you know, yeah. and rural folks, tribal people had arrived. So uh, it's a very uh, great thing that that has happened. An example so, for Guruji, the world. You to would wake agree up then that you would agree, uh, Guruji, that this is not a, a middle class struggle as it was being perceived as a few days back. That. Over a period of the last few days, we've seen this appeal to people across different socio-economic backgrounds, not just the middle class. You know, the poor people cannot come to Ramlila, I tell you. Those, the, the poor people in Delhi, they all came. Usually Delhi is, Delhi is full of middle class and lower middle class and upper middle class people. And if you see villages also, people work for it. They all for it. But very poor people could not 
come all the way nor could they watch the television. That doesn't mean that they are not affected by corruption or they will not stand behind anti-corruption bill. Not at all. Now somebody has to take the lead and of course uh, the middle class people took the lead. And that's a big chunk and they are affected most in this country, no doubt. Guruji, uh, what will it take for only people in the country? Particular class or pardon? Sure. Sure. Guruji, what will it take for people in this country uh, to once again, uh, you know, believe very, very deeply in in our political leaders, uh, in our political parties? Because uh, ultimately, uh, despite what they did in Parliament yesterday, the sense is that political parties failed us in failing to adopt this. Uh, of the fight against corruption, the Lokpal bill in the past, and now finally they were pushed into no. it. So what, what do people need no, to see to get faith back in their political to, parties? We, we need to uh, bring reforms in our electoral system. Just with money power and muzzle power, if people get into the parliament, they will, uh, they will command no respect. You know, good people, sane and uh, decent people don't want to jump into this fray and they want to stay back, you know, stay away. Uh, so eventually what happens is those who have amassed wealth in all, uh, in a not right manner and through corrupt means, they end up. I wouldn't say that every parliamentarian is bad. There are very good parliamentarians, very intelligent, caring parliamentarians in our parliament, but their number seem to be dwelling, dwindling. Their numbers are dwindling, but the numbers of the others who have more criminal records are rising up. This is not a good sign. So something needs to be done in that count. And I would say um, that the, the parliamentarians also will have to come down from their ivory towers and be simple, sincere, show their sincerity. They may be sincere, but there is a long, lot of communication gap. They should go and meet with people, sit with them, uh, talk to them, listen to their problems. There is a sort of communication they need to develop being a servant attitude rather than a master attitude. Uh, Guruji, thank you so much for speaking, us, uh, speaking okay. to us this morning.